That's it. Now, the image of God is not just the shape of the creator, but God wants you to have his character. Character, that's it. But the only thing you got is God image, but you don't have God character. You are God equal to the God of this world, Satan. <laughs> you may ask, all right, if the Lord is Jesus and the Lord is coming back, who's going to be on the throne? God is. God is. Well, I thought God is coming back. That's true. And he's going to be on the throne? Yes, God say I'm higher than heaven. Higher than heaven. I'm broader than the earth. That's right. I'm deeper than hell. Welcome back, my faith family. And if this is your first time here on the channel, welcome to Test of Faith TV. Remember, before Adam disobeyed God, Eden was called paradise. paradise. The earth would be a form of paradise. paradise. And one of the main reasons why God will do this, to give the wicked, who was once influenced by the devil, a taste Lord. of what it would be like when the holy is with God. My Lord. God is going to give you a taste My Lord. and just show you what you will miss you throughout miss. all eternity. That's right. He's going to prove to you that not even the devil that you are so loyal to is greater than him. That's right. He will prove to you, I got power to bind and to loose. That's right. Go ahead. He will prove to the world that following Satan was all in vain. All in vain. So the Lord binds him for a thousand years. A thousand years. Peace fall upon the earth. Yes. To give all the disobedient and wicked just a taste of what you shall miss My Lord. throughout eternity. My Lord. Hallelujah to God. And he lay hold on the dragon. He lay, you better get, read from the beginning again, Williams. Give chapter and verse. Back in Revelation chapter 20. We'll Are you listening to me today? Amen. Listen, God, viewers. Revelation chapter 20, we'll go back to verse 1. The word revelation means that which is revealed. Right. That which God makes known. That's right. All right. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit. Yes. And a great chain in his hand. Uh -huh. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent. That old serpent. Which is the devil and he, Satan. He is not just called a serpent. No, old serpent. I love to detail this. Detail it. He's called an old serpent. Old serpent. See, serpent means subtle. Yeah. Deceiver. But when you say old serpent, old nobody's a more experienced deceiver than him. That's right. He's been deceiving a long time. That's right. He's an old serpent. An old serpent. What else is he called? Which is the devil. Go back and read that again. And he, Revelation chapter 20, what, verse 2. Yes. And he lay hold on the dragon. Hold it. Dragon. That's what I want. Dragon. You see, he's described... In a beastly form. That's right. Dragon, Dragon. meaning he's violent. Oh, yes. He's vicious. vicious. He's called a serpent. If you know what a serpent does, a snake, let's go to school today. The snake, whenever he kills his prey, he wraps around his prey. He coils himself around it and suffocates it. That's right. And then when the prey dies, he eats his prey whole. But the serpent never start to consume the prey from the feet. That's right. He consumes the prey head first. Head first. What is your greatest struggle? trying to focus on God, your mind. That's right. That is the part of you that the serpent attacks moreover. He attacks your mind more than he attacks your body. That's right. For you can sleep and the serpent will slither its way yes, into your subconscious mind. That's right. 
And now when you wake up, you got to repent for something you don't dreamed about that you should not have dreamed about. For the book of Jude says, ye filthy dreamers, filthy dreams that defile, defile, the the flesh. Flesh. defile the flesh. Are you listening? That's right. So Satan, or rather the serpent, coiled itself around his prey, suffocated. Satan coiled itself. And sometimes Satan appears as a friend. That's right. A close friend. Close friend. Coil itself means it get close to you. Oh, yes. And coil and suffer the godliness, the righteousness, the sincerity of God out of you. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Glory be to God. I hope you can get this. And he laid hold on the dragon. He laid hold on the dragon. That old serpent. That old deceiver. Which is the devil. Which is the devil. And Satan. And Satan. And bound him a thousand years. Bind him. Bound him. I told you he, nobody gets away. Nobody gets away. Not even the devil himself gets away. That's right. He's bound for a thousand years. And cast him into the bottomless pit. Cast into the bottomless pit. And shut him up. Shut him up. And set a seal upon him. Yes. That he should deceive the nations no more. Now. This is not permanent. Notice it says a thousand years, a, thousand a space years. of time. Right. His bondage, his captivity during this time is not permanent. No. You will only have temporary freedom. That's right. I wish he was bound now. <laughs> oh, yes. I wouldn't have to preach as hard. In fact, if he was bound now, what sin would I have to preach against? That's right. But the devil is loose, and we all can say amen to that. Oh, He's yes. a wild thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Listen. And cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up. Yes. And set a seal upon him. Yes. And he should deceive the nations no more. Wait a minute. Don't just put him in bondage. Amen. Seal him. Shut him up and set a seal shut upon him. Shut him up and put a seal upon him. That, that lets you know that the Lord really want to captivate evil. That's right. If you don't put a seal on him, Go ahead. he may try to get out. Oh, yes. Listen. And cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up. Yes. And set a seal upon him. Uh -huh. That he should deceive the nations no more. Yes. Till. The Till. The thousand years. The thousand years. Should be fulfilled. It's over. A and after that. After the thousand years is over. He must be loose a little season. Must be loose. He coming back. Oh, yes. For a little while. That's right. For a little season. Little season. And we don't know how long that little season is to God. That's true. Listen. And I saw thrones and they that sat upon them. I saw thrones and they that sat upon them. And judgment was given unto judgment them. Judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded. My, my, my. For the witness of Jesus. Here you have people of God still in the earth still after the earth. Satan is loose. That's right. That's now, this is where your salvation going to be tested. Oh, yes. If you can't tolerate something trivial or somebody talking about you, somebody look at you wrong, hmm. somebody roll their old beady fish eyes at you. That's right. You are not ready in any form That's right. to die for the testimony of Jesus. No. Do you hear and I saw what the, the word says? And I saw the souls of them. I saw the souls of them that were, beheaded that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus. Will you be a witness to, for, Jesus for Jesus to the point that you're willing to be beheaded for him? Beheaded. That's something. Or will you deny him? That's, that's something. Will you say God don't exist because you're fearful of that blade? That's right. Because if you deny God, you will lose your head anyway yeah. and down your loss. That's right. This is why the people of God must be steadfast and strong now. And to be that, you got to have strong preaching that makes us strong people. That's right.
If you are enjoying this video, please give this video a thumbs up and press that subscribe button if you have not subscribed. I'll see you in the comment section, my faith family. Back to the video. Sometimes I read the comments on social media of people that hear us preaching. And many people say, oh my God, I grew up on that type of preaching. Many people say, where are you, where you been all my life? Yeah. Many people say, oh, I wish you was around when I was young coming up. Right. Many people say, I thought that preaching didn't even exist. My man from another country wrote, I didn't know America even had that kind of preacher. <laughs> oh, Lord. Think of it. Yeah. What makes him say this? Because America is known for being religious, a religious scam. That's right. Play church. That's right. Play with God. Play with God. As if there's no repercussions for your play. That's right. The word of God says what? And I saw the souls of them that were I saw the souls of them that were beheaded. For the witness of Jesus. For the witness of Jesus. And for the and word of God. For the word of God. Now, hmm. the word of God, there's nothing in the earth more powerful. That's right. More right, more true, more true than the word of God. What you mean, the word of God? The sayings of the Almighty. That's right. This is why man have labored for years to contaminate whatever God says. That's right. He tried to make books to prove that there's scriptural contradictions. There's no contradiction, only the man don't understand the wisdom and knowledge of the Most High. That's right. But man will labor around the clock. Oh, yes, he will. Preachers will refer to great historians and black activists. Yeah. And will honor what they say. That's right. Above honoring what God says. The law of the Lord is perfect. Do you hear it? In Psalms 19 and at verse 7. The law of the Lord, of the Lord is perfect. Martin Luther King was good, but he ain't good enough. Not good enough. Malcolm X was good, but he ain't good enough. That's right. Noble Drew Ali was good, but he ain't good enough. That's right. James Baldwin, good debater, intelligent mind, yeah. not better than the mind of God. Oh, no. So you can dig these men up in history. Oh, yes. Who's recognized in the earth for their greatness yes. and their brilliance. But who in the world is more brilliant than the <laughs> God of heaven? That's right. The Bible says, who by searching? Can find out can God. Find out God. Can find out God. What man can hang the earth on nothing? On nothing. Nobody. Nobody. So the intelligence of God is not respected and has been dwindled down to nothing until man is so dumb and ignorant, he get a little bit education. A little bit education. Just a little bit. Get an LLD, a PhD, a master's, and a bachelor's. And then he think he's so smart. Oh, man, there ain't no God. That's right. I, I, this is one of the most ignorant sayings. I, my own man. I'm my own man. I'm my own man. Yeah. I'm my own woman. You are? You are. Well, America proved to you you're not your own because when you go to jail, if you're your own, then why don't you get out on your own? Amen. When you're hooked up to a respirator, you can't detach yourself. When are you going to realize your entire being is in the hands of your creator? That's right. And you have no power over yourself but the Lord of creation. That's right. And when these religious leaders stop trying to make themselves God, yeah. equal to the God of the universe, you know, religions quote the scripture. In the Old Testament that says, ye are gods. Oh, oh man, people are running wild with that. The Hebrew Israelites are running around with it. The nation of Islam running wild with it. They quote that scripture. Ye are gods. Ye are gods. And they put too much emphasis. Oh, I'm a god. <laughs> That's right. 
I'm a God. Here's a God over there, a drunken God. A drunken Here's woman. a high weed smoking God. Here's a woman beating God, a cussing God, a lying God. You have nothing but the title God, That's which right. shows you are made in the image of God. That's it. Now, the image of God is not just the shape of the creator, but God wants you to have his character. character. That's it. The only thing you got is God image, but you don't have God character. You are God equal to the God of this world, Satan. Satan. Are you listening? In Psalms 82 and at verse 6. What is it? I have said, ye are God. I have said, ye are God. Ye are God for what good is it, Will? And all of you are children. All of you are children. Of the Most High. Of the Most High. But ye shall die. But when it's time for death, ye shall die. You like shall men. die like men. And fall like one of the princes. And you're going to fall like one of the princes. That's right. So you can walk around and I'm, 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 I'm God. <laughs> Amen. I'm God. Oh, yeah. Oh. You're just God in title. That's it. He is God in power. That's right. He can't die. No. But when it comes to us, he says, I kill. That's right. And I make alive. I wound and I heal. He declared, I am the Lord. I am the Lord that do all these things. All these things. All right, go back to the revelation. Everybody all right? Listen at this. Back in Revelation chapter 20 and at verse 4. What is it? And I saw thrones and they that sat upon them and judgment was given unto them. Yeah. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus. All right. And for the word of God. Yes. And which had not worshipped the beast. All it. They did not worship the beast. Neither his image. Neither his image. Neither had received his mark upon their forehead. Neither had they received his mark on their forehead. Or in their hand. Or in their hand. That's talking about the mark of the beast. That's right. 666. Six, six. That's it. It'll be given in the forehead or in the hand. Mm -hmm. Not like it was when I debated that fella, a man who, uh, Mr. Israel, who said the beast, the mark of the beast was COVID. The Bible didn't say the mark of the beast come every year. <laughs> no. No. COVID comes every year like a cold. That's right. And uh, there is no doctor out there that can uh, have a remedy for the mark of the beast. That's right. But there is no remedy for the mark of the beast. No. But there is a remedy for COVID. That's right. All right. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God. Yeah. And which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image. Real quick. Neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. Yes. And they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. Ah, uh, they reigned with Christ for a thousand years. Now, a term that describes a thousand years, which also is called millennium. Millennium. This is where you get the phrase millennium reign. Millennium reign. See, while Satan is in bondage yeah. and peace on, earth, peace on earth, the millennium reign starts when the Lord comes right. and presents unto himself his glorious church. glorious church. The church will be with God. Yeah. Satan will be bound. Right. There will be peace on earth. The only ones left on earth while the church is with the Lord is two classes of people. That's right. Wicked and righteous. and righteous. The holy is already gone. Right. Blessed and holy, and holy is he and that part, that of the part resurrection. in the first resurrection on such, on the, such second death, the second death has no power. Has no power. So right. when God come, the Lord come, Jesus come, Christ come, Go Jehovah ahead. come, I am that I am when he come. That's right. With a shout, that don't mean he gonna come jumping. Shout is his voice. voice. His voice is described shout. shout. His voice is described as the voice of an archangel. For the Lord his himself. voice is described as a trump That's of right. God. Guess to get some Bible, son. First Thessalonians chapter 4 and we're at verse 16. Oh, this is good. For the Lord himself. Hold on it. The Lord himself. Hold it. Let's get the Lord's name 
Acts 9.5. And he said, who art thou, And you Lord? better give me Psalms chapter 100 and verse right. 3. Amen. I preach that Jesus Christ is God. Yes, I do. Yes, For do. the Bible said, the Lord himself the Lord shall himself. descend from heaven with a shout. Let's get the Lord's name in Acts chapter 9 and verse 5. And he said, who art thou, Lord? Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said. And the Lord said. I am Jesus. Let's get the Lord who he admit that he is in Psalms, Psalms 100 Psalms and verse 100. 3. Know ye the Lord. Know ye the Lord. That he is God. That he is God. Give me Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 5. Let's see how many lords it is. One Lord. One Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One Lord. One. One Lord. Just one. Glory to God. Just one. That one Lord say he's Jesus. That one Lord says my name is Jesus. That one Lord said he's God. And then he says the Lord himself. Shall now, yeah, 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 yeah. You may ask, all right, if the Lord is Jesus and the Lord is coming back, who's going to be on the throne? God is. Well, I thought God is coming back. That's true. And he going to be on the throne? Yes, God say I'm higher than heaven. Higher than heaven. I'm broader than the earth. That's right. I'm deeper than hell. God is everywhere. Everywhere. God Almighty is everywhere. Everywhere. He's in Africa. Why? He's here in America. He's in Canada. Why? He's somewhere else in the world. That's right. He's in us while he's in heaven. It is as high as heaven. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The head. Job chapter 11 and at verse 8. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. What did he say, son? It is as high as heaven. It is as high. Glory to God as heaven. What canst thou do? What can you do? Deeper than hell. Deeper than hell. What canst thou know? What can you know? The measure thereof is longer the than the earth. The measure thereof is longer than the earth. And broader than the sea. Broader than the sea. If he cut off. Oh, you go to God. Hallelujah. God says. If he cut if off. If he cut you off. And shut up. And shut you up. Or gather together. Or gather together. Then who can hinder him? Who can stop him? That's right. Who I, can stop him? That's right. Who can tell God what to do and what not to do? That's right. God answers to no man. Amen. But all men must answer to God. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? For the Lord Himself. The Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Lord Himself. That's plain. That, that's plain. That's plain. Oh, yes. The Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with shall a shout. Shall descend from heaven with a shout. With a shout. With the voice of the archangel. This is what His voice is going to sound like. With the voice of the archangel. With the voice. Of an archangel. And with the trump of God. With the trump of God and. And the dead in Christ. The shall, dead in Christ. Shall rise first. Rise when? First. Second. First. Third. First. Fourth. First. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's the real first resurrection. Go ahead, brother. That's right. Hallelujah. What the nation of Islam call the first resurrection. They ain't no first resurrection. No. The dead in Christ shall rise what first. What the nation of Islam called while Elijah Muhammad was living Hallelujah. and you that was alive when he was alive, you called that the first resurrection. Man, there ain't no first resurrection. Oh, no. No way. Hallelujah. Go ahead, brother. A Muslim challenged me and said that the coming of Elijah Muhammad was prophesied in the book of Micah. They say Elijah will come. Hmm. All right. Give me the book of Malachi. Malachi. And then I believe, given the book of John or Luke in the Luke. New Testament, yeah. let me show you who was Elijah. That's right. Yeah. See, I love to dissect the Bible. Yes. 
Amen. All my information is right in the Bible. That's right. All right, son, look at what it says. In the book of Malachi, chapter 4. I'm going to prove to you that the book of Malachi was not talking about the coming of Elijah Muhammad. That's right. Because Elijah already came and dead. That's right. But somebody had to come look like him, sound like him, represent him so close until he had come in the likeness of the Old Testament prophet. That's right. All right, son, listen at this. Malachi, chapter 4, and we're at verse 5. I have many of X Nation of Islam brothers here. Whole lot of them. I have brothers here that used to be Sunni Muslims. I have sisters here that used to be Nation of Islam and, sus and Sunni Muslims used to be part of the Nation of Islam MGT staff. Amen. But when they heard holy. <laughs> when they heard be holy. Be holy. Be holy is not be Muslim. <laughs> no, it's not. Be holy is not be a Jew. No. Be holy is not go after Christianity. That's right. Be holy means be like God. Be like God. Whatever God said. That's right. Follow it. That's right. To the letter. Go ahead. All right, let's get Elijah, son. Then we go back to Revelation. Malachi chapter 4 and we're at verse 5. Yeah, man. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet. Ha. Amen. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet. I will send Elijah the prophet, the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful before day of the, the Lord. Before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he shall turn the heart he shall turn the hearts of the fathers of to the, the fathers children. To the children. And the heart of the children and to the their children's fathers. heart to the mother. To their fathers. To their fathers. Lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. All right. They say that was the full prophecy of the arrival of Elijah Muhammad. Yes. All right. Let's see what the Bible says. Now in the book of St. Luke. Now this is what I take. Amen. St. Luke chapter 1. I one. take what the word of God says. That's right. And when I take what the word of God says, it debunks what everybody else says. That's right. Everybody. Everybody. It debunks what Farad Muhammad says. It debunks what Elijah Muhammad says. That's right. It debunks what Farrakhan says. That's right. Remember the prophet declared I that will Elijah, send Elijah the I will send Elijah the prophet. The prophet. Before the coming of the before great and dreadful it is, day of the At Lord. no time did he say I will send Elijah Muhammad. No, no, it didn't. No, it didn't. Didn't say that. Elijah the prophet. But I will descend, I will send I, Elijah. I will send you Elijah the prophet. The prophet or Elijah the messenger. That's right. Uh -huh. Before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Yes. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children. And? And the heart of the children to their fathers. And? Lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Let us see. Amen. Who fulfilled this? Now in the book of St. Luke chapter 1. And we're going to start reading at verse 13. Listen. Did you, did you, <laughs> Amen. I love this. Amen. Give chapter and verse again. St. Luke chapter 1, and we'll start reading at verse 13. Follow me in your Bible. St. Luke chapter Follow 1. Follow me in the scriptures. And verse 13. Follow me in the book of truth. That's right. Says what? But the angel said unto him, fear not Zacharias. The angel said unto him. Fear not Zacharias. Fear not Zacharias. For thy prayer is heard. Thine prayer. Is her. And thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son. Thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son. Will bear thee a son. And thou shalt call his name John. Thou shalt call his name John. And thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth. You're going to be happy about him. For he shall be great in the sight of the he Lord. He shall be great in God's eyes. And shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. And what? And he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost even from his mother's womb. Yes. And many of the children of Israel. Hold it. Amen. Many of the children of Israel. Shall he turn to the Lord their God. Shall he turn to the Lord. And at St. Luke 1 now we're at verse 17. Yes. And he shall go before him. He shall go before him. In the spirit. In the spirit. And power. And power. Of Elias. Of Elias to turn the hearts of the fathers. He gonna turn the hearts of the fathers to the children. To the children and the disobedient and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just. That was John. John, not Elijah Poole. <laughs> That's right. 
That's right. That was John the Baptist. John, that's right. And what else did he say? And he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elias. Yes. To turn the hearts of the fathers to the children. Yes. And the disobedient to the wisdom of the just. Yes. To make ready a people prepared to for the To make ready a people prepared for the Lord. For the Lord. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? That's wonderful. The Bible always debunks. Always. The sayings of men. Man right. always try to hijack, hijack prophecies. That's right. And make it him. <laughs> That's right. Have you noticed that? Yes. There's some fella, I believe it, in Puerto Rico and the Philippines that says he's the second coming of Christ. My Lord, my Lord. That man, I don't know what he's smoking. <laughs> he's smoking something. Whatever he's smoking, man, it is working big time. It's, it, it's got him high, Pastor. It got him very high. <laughs> Amen. Believe he's the second coming of Christ. My Lord, my Lord. The danger is people believes it. Yeah. People are brainwashed by it. Oh, yes. And people are loyal to it. You better give me more revelation, son. I got to finish up real back, quick. Back in Revelation chapter 20 and was started verse 4 again. Yes. And I saw thrones and they that sat upon them and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God. Yes. And which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image. Neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. Yes. And they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. A thousand years. But the rest of the dead lived not again. Look at here. The rest of the dead didn't live again. Until, until the thousand years were finished. Until the millennium come to an end. This, this is, is the first resurrection. This is. This is.